All right, we are back again. Our final install. Well, temporarily install. So, guys, the inverters are on. We got to tie them all the way here. It's not at all pretty, but I'm trying to uh, simulate something here. All those flange I was talking about earlier, you can see them for battery terminal. You can see the other one here there so i have seven batteries in uh parallel so guys this is the thing they're connected with a battery temperature sensor and uh you can tell these are two hot cable 12 volt i got uh, the top one here that's the one with the um gfci breaker and this one doesn't have the GFCI breaker but I fabricate the thing to here for an outlet so this is the outlet for it and um, they all produce in power test them this is the lithium battery pack I have here um, from Nissan Leaf and um, then I decided to tie both inverters on this uh, lithium ion pack. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm going to be trying to charge the batteries. I have both outlets. Um, for these guys, this one outlet is going to be plugged in there since it's a 15 amp breaker from the house so i have the other one here plug onto the 20 amp on in the kitchen so i want to draw a different two circuit okay so that's going to be the cord for it right here that's going to be plugging right there so we're getting ready for it but at the end again that's the nissan leaf battery disconnect i'm going to Utilize this on the next project. I'm gonna take this guy out. This is the mounting. I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna use this uh, stuff. This to get um, the disconnect, and which I can able to utilize on my next project. There you go. That's the main battery disconnect for the over 400 and some volt on Nissan. I will surely put it to use. So this is just a temporary setup here. The wires are all the same length. And uh, I'm not just going to get everything crumpled up here. I'm going to get these wires a little bit longer. So the battery pack can stay somewhere. But this is just remind remember, mind you guys, it's gonna be on my um uh portable generator kit <clears throat> over there. So this is all these are all um movable thing you can able to take it and uh just wherever you want to take it. It's gonna be portable and this pack's gonna be portable and here you can see this other side. I'm waiting for the batteries so that I can fit them right here. Another seven of these so I can go 24 or 48 volt, 24, 48 or 12 volt configuration. Right now we're on 12. All right. So this is the deal. And we're going to try and charge the batteries and see how it is. But I want to try and see I put a load into this new GFCI I just created. If it's gonna work, I know that the T kettle is over this inverter rated rated inverter for this thing, so that's why I'm gonna just see what this thing can take. Um, I took the meter. I didn't install the other one yet. I took the meter and plug it to the new inverter that just last came. This is the one that I already had before. This is the second one without the JFCI. I want to see how my JFCI breaker will work. So let's 
roll the tea kettle you've seen it on my all my tests and I'm gonna plug this guy here and see how everything goes from here and just take a look into the meter for the readings the inverter is currently off I'm gonna turn the inverter on okay the inverter is now on so it's blinking here because on a search mode we're sitting at uh, 15.8 I'm gonna try and push the lever right here there's an indicator and see what power we're gonna try I know it's gonna shut off because the inverter is just at 12 volt uh, sorry 1000 watt okay see that it pulls about 143 amps on the battery look at the voltage still sitting the same and see the light you can hear it oh we got a fault light see AC overload can't take that so the inverter shut off you're not gonna blow it it's just gonna go on a fault mode okay exactly so let's unplug it from here and try oh it's too too far away hey, maybe i can plug it onto this one and see how it is well let's try it shall we the same thing is gonna happen again guys so it's not something new but the remote is already plugged here i'm gonna take the remote out and see if i can plug it to here on this corner all right it's gonna do a test i know what i'm doing but it just is a test so let's try and fire up this guy again here and see look at the voltage 148 This one, the fan, the fan didn't come on right away, like this other one. Okay, kicks in. Take a look. The water is trying to boil from the other side here. There you go. Let's see. Went to a fault mode as well. Overload. Can't do it. So, guys, this completes our test right here. In Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you guys, and stay tuned for more to come live from the channel. So, there we go.